Hi Capricorn, welcome to your energetic weather forecast for October 2nd through the 8th. Uh, this is a little check-in for your own specific energy and I will probably do these in between the lunar readings. So every other week. Uh, let's get started. The first um, pile is your initiative, your um, your initiative energy, I would say, you know, what gets you going. You have the seven of wands. So <clears throat> you may be feeling like you need to defend yourself to yourself. Um, you could be, you could have an internal argument, I would say. And this is not like self-speak. It's sort of, it, like I said, it's defending yourself to yourself. Um, you may be trying to say why you shouldn't be doing something or why you shouldn't be in the position that you're in and then defending it immediately. That's that kind of energy. Uh, I do feel like it's a very brisk energy. I do feel it is um, definitely on the defensive and... Um, I want you to know that you have some strong footing and that uh, the best thing to do is to take the high road in any situation. That's how you will come out victorious. Your emotional situation or energetic level is a six and it is a kind emotional energy so I do feel like you're going to be a little bit feisty but uh, and then you do something sweet for yourself um, there can be some um, old past memories that come up possibly from childhood that um, kind of bring a nostalgic feeling for you. And, you know, there might even be some memories that you prefer not to rehash, and that can be where the Seven of Wands comes in a little bit, and kind of fighting off those um, those memories a little bit. But you should be kind, and one of the things, I mean, a memory is something that um, it gives you a moment to rethink about how maybe you would have done that differently, in my opinion, or in my feeling. It means a lot of things, but that's my feeling with this particular card in this situation. And I have that because, again, this is about taking the high road. And so, you know, that can always help you with future situations that you find yourself in. And even though every situation is a little bit different, I think the main thing that I'd like you to take away from this is um, how would you like someone to speak to you about situations is probably how you should speak to others. Okay. Your mental acumen for the week of October 2nd to the 8th is the Ten of Swords. You're not the only one. Uh, I think you're done thinking. <laughs> and you're certainly finished thinking about one thing in particular. You've had enough. It's um, mentally taxing. And quite frankly, I don't know that you have the capacity to think about that particular thing anymore. The nice thing about it is when you release that thought and you let it go, it goes. A new day dawns. And um, I think for me, I have the feeling that this is a... Um, it's a... It's something that you're forcing yourself to do. It's like this thought comes up and you push it away. You continually push it away. No, I'm not thinking about this anymore. No, I want peace of mind. It's that kind of, of energy. 
And in regards to this, it can be that you are thinking about the things that have happened in the past again and how you would have handled it um, then and how you can possibly handle it in the future. Now you just think you're done thinking about it. I feel tired looking at this card. So <laughs> I, I, I feel like I want to just look out into the vista and stare and think about <laughs> nothing. That's, that's how I feel with this card for you right now. On a physical level, um, it would be really good for you to think about um, new ways of health and well-being. So I think you think first on a physical level, but that spills out into all of the other areas. And the Queen of Pentacles is uh, my Aquarius card. It's a very new age kind of card, you know, the age of Aquarius. So it's not necessarily, you know, what doctors can do for you, um, but, you know, what alternative, what alternatives can you find? And this can be supplements, but I think this is more like whole foods, um, you know, and now that we're heading into uh, the fall, autumn, then uh, it would be a good time to eat the foods that are um, available now in your area. So what grows in your area and what is ripe and available. And if you have a garden, it's like picking the squash off the vine and cooking it immediately and eating it or shredding it and eating it raw. It, it doesn't matter. It's just that kind of live food I think will help um, boost your energy and especially your mental energy at this time. So you might want to look into foods that are good for um, mental um, health. And I do believe that's like walnuts nuts, that kind of thing, good fats, um, avocados, um, organic butters, but good fats, okay? And then your spiritual hanged man. So your spiritual energy is indeed, really my feeling is just staring out <laughs> into space. If you could do that for a week, I think it would be very good for you. And I know you cannot. So meditation would be fantastic, but it is taking time out. If things aren't um, quite in your hands right now, it might be in somebody else's hands or just no one's hand at the moment. But the hanged man is just sort of, uh, is not sort of, it's definitely taking time out. Uh, and it, these things that are happening to you, this situation is asking you to see things from another perspective. And when you do that, that will absolutely, oh, I already feel it, like um, energy comes back to my head. I have clearer thinking. And so this is a week of looking at the past and the situations from the past with, from another perspective. And all of a sudden, wow, I really get I really get a lot of energy. It's like the energy just came back to my head. And even my body is responding. I feel good again. I feel happy again. And so please take this information and see things from another perspective. You'll be happy that you do that. Okay? I'm going to leave you there with that, Cappy. I think um, I think I see really good things for you if you take a little time out for yourself. I will be back in another week with the lunar reading. And uh, until then, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for listening. Bye.